Welcome to the beautiful Barcelona Arc de Triomphe. This arch was built for the World Expo of 1888, which took place here in Barcelona. The arch was built to become one of the main attractions, while at the same time serving as the entrance to the exposition, which took place at the nearby Parque de la Ciutadella. The arch was designed by the noted Catalan architect Josef Villaseca. As I'm sure you can see, the designs by Villaseca stand out from other well-known triumphal arches, in particular L'Arc de Triomphe in Paris. Instead of using sandstone or marble, Villaseca decided to build the arch using red bricks. Using bricks as the main material is a typical feature of the rather unusual architectural style the arch is built in. Unknown to many, even a lot of Barcelonians, is that the arch is inspired by Muslim architecture. The style is known as Mudejar, which emerged during the 12th century on the Iberian Peninsula. The style was created by the Moors and Muslims who remained in the area after the Christians had recaptured and repopulated the whole Iberian Peninsula. When you look at the arch and think about it, the Muslim influence is actually showing pretty clearly. The arch is dominated by its several beautiful stone carvings. Above the arch itself, you can see carvings depicting the Barcelona coat of arms with a small crown above it. On either side, you can see the coat of arms of other provinces in Spain. Above these stone carvings, you can see a detailed stone relief the one on the other side of the arch depicts a prize-giving ceremony and is known as a recompense. The one you have in front of you now is known as Barcelona Replenación, Catalan for Barcelona welcomes the nations. It represents the various countries' participation in the World Expo and Barcelona thanking them for their attendance. If you look closely, you can see that the man in the middle bears the Barcelonan coat of arms on his chest. The Barcelonans are generally very proud of their city and the Catalan region. You can even find the coat of arms on the lampposts in front of the arch. Do you know why the Barcelonan coat of arms looks the way it does? The crosses, which are red on a white background, represents the patron saint of Barcelona, Saint George. The striped sections, which are red on a yellow background, represents the Catalonian coat of arms. The legend has it that the red stripes are the blood from a mortal wound the Barcelonan Count Wilfred the Hairy suffered during the defense of Barcelona against the Moors in the 9th century. The blood is said to have been painted on the Count's golden shield by the French ally Charles the Bold as a sign of gratitude. Surrounding the arch, you can see 12 angels representing fame. The grand arch is crowned with yet another coat of arms. The one at the top represents the arms of the Spanish monarchs. The pillars held by the lions are known as the Pillars of Hercules, which is the ancient name given to the Strait of Gibraltar. Under the lions, even though it can be hard to spot from the ground, stands the words plus ultra, a motto which means further and beyond in Latin. Today, the arch still serves its purpose as an entrance, not to the World Fair, but to the great park de la Ciutadella. Many say that the beauty goes beyond the arch itself. The arch with its open surroundings and rather relaxed environment, has become a favorite spot for a lot of people, both visitors and Barcelonans. One quickly understand why the arch became such a success during the World Expo. It is easy to imagine visitors passing under the arch into the promenade leading to the World Expo in Parque de la Ciutadella. <laughs> 